So as part of my degree course, I spent a year in France in a little town called Voiron, near Grenoble. And I went to the conservatoire at Grenoble and found myself a singing teacher who was just wonderful. She was called Elizabeth Maximovich, and she adopted me as a daughter. I was quite lost. I was all alone in uh, this fairly remote part of France. If I'd been in Grenoble, I would have been surrounded by English and American students, and I wouldn't have learned any French. I'd probably have had a great time, but I wouldn't have learned French. And as it was, I lived in the school and spoke French rather more than I, no, I spoke French actually to my, uh, my classes as well. I was supposed to be giving English conversation classes, but they couldn't understand, so we talked French most of the time, which was quite fun. And I had great singing lessons with this lovely lady who introduced me to a whole repertoire that I didn't know about at all. We had music at home, we were a musical family, but uh, in Cheltenham, where I grew up, um, there was a music festival and I, had singing lessons from quite an early age, but there wasn't an enormous amount of opera to go and see or, you know, concerts to see. So I learnt for the first time Ravel songs and Debussy and Forêt. And then she sent me to a, a summer school in Nice, the Académie Internationale d'Été in Nice. And I had lessons there with Maria Branes. And then I came back and got a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music and went on with singing because I realized that uh, I wasn't going to be able to teach French. I couldn't stand up in front of a class of people and teach them anything at all. So I'd better do something with singing. And, uh, but I managed, I'm so happy because I've managed to combine my love of singing with my love of French and I sing wonderful French songs and uh, operas and it's great. <laughs>